Damn, I might have just found the best data scraping tool. It just got launched on Product Hunt a few days ago, and it's number one product of the day. It's called Chat for Data. So I'm going to test drive this. This is not a sponsored post, but I just want to try it out because everybody's raving about this, and I've seen some pretty amazing videos. So first, let me actually install it. I don't even have it installed. So this is just going to be a raw, uncut video that's going to allow us to actually scrape sites super easily from what I've seen in the demos, it kind of blows my mind. So I'm going to start with TikTok. And if you guys haven't followed Marcin, come and say what up. Okay, so here's my TikTok page. So now if I activate this chat feature, it brings up a chat bot. So let's log in. So now we're on the page and it says extract data from the current website. So we're going to click on that. And the way it works is you actually break down the whole HTML site and kind of select exactly what sections you want to scrape. So I've never seen anything like this. I've built scrapers before, but this looks pretty interesting. So we're doing this for two reasons. One, to try the product, but two, because if this thing really does work, like I'm just gonna build it myself and that'll be the next video. But for now, let's take a look. So check this out. So extract data from video list, extract data from site navigation, or extract data from the footer. So let's go video list. So now what we're going to do is we're going to parse all this and we're going to be able to select exactly what we're trying to download and what data we're trying to get. So now it's going to fetch all the info and there's pagination too, which I saw, which looked really, really interesting. So if you guys haven't tried data scraping, this is obviously incredibly valuable because, okay, so check this out. So we got video views, 32, we got video thumbnails and video URLs. So let's get rid of the thumbnails. I don't really care about that but let's go video views and video URLs. This would actually be super interesting. And then I can add a custom field. So, so if I go to ask at custom field, then I would go in and let's see how this works. Okay. Oh, I can actually just scroll around and select different things. That's really dope actually. Okay. So let's just go with those two. So let's go with video views and video URL. This would be super helpful because I'm able to so you have selected video, okay, video views. Yeah, there it is, look at that. How many selected videos and video URL fields? How many pages? Let's do three pages. I don't even know the price of this thing, but so far it's free. So I don't know what that means. Is it free? Here we go. New users get a million free tokens to test chat for data. After that, top up is a million, wait, a dollar per million. Oh, wow, that's super cheap, okay. Final check before launching your scraper. Okay, you have selected start extraction. Yeah, so I checked out on product time. Look at this. It's 1,100 followers, number one in the day rank. So that doesn't happen often, but it definitely is really good. So it has the chat feature. And I recently built a couple different chat bots. So you could just chat with the bot. So I could just say, extract only the first 20 videos. Man, this would be so helpful. I'm just thinking of listings and directories and anything that I want. Okay, configuration complete. We'll extract the first 20 videos. All right, so let's see how it works. Okay, it finished. It took about five seconds. Let's export it and let's take a look at our file. Wow, it did do it and that was easy. Okay, we got two, four. Yep, that's the first 20. We got links and we got the play count. Okay, so that's the first one. So let's try something on Google. Let's go to Google, extract like local business data. So let's go to some random city. Let's go to Huntington Beach. And then I don't know, type in like dentist. So we got dentist. Let's go current page. And let's see how quickly we can actually collect all the data that we want. Okay, so we're going to go from the list or from the search box. So let's go in the list. I want to see how it actually is able to switch pages. That's kind of the, the part that I'm really trying to check out now. Would you like to use all the fields or modify the research? So look at this. We got clinic name, review count, address, label, comment, link, image. Okay, so let's get rid of some of these. We got the opening. We got clinical type. Wow, this is crazy. Booking link, add label. Okay, confirm selection. Damn, this is pretty clever. I wonder if I could build this though. So this video is going to just be talking about this product, but I have a feeling that I could actually build this pretty easily. So I might definitely do a follow-up video for this where we just recreate this. So let's just do one page, but it works and it's clean. So I do like the fact that it's able to extract it because I've built ones where it just scans the page and looks for specific things like emails or names, whatever. But the fact that you can actually select different things, I think is actually really, really smart. 
Okay, start extraction. It got all the data, first page. Let's see how it does. Okay, it finished. Let's go export data and let's take a look. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. It has Huntington Beach. It has the review count, the type, the address, the link, and the last comment. Okay. All right. So let's try one more. Let's do um, let's do a website. So let's do like dentist in San Diego. Let's see how we can handle just a random website. So it's going to parse through the website. So this is the first step is being able to actually parse everything. So it's looking through the HTML code and seeing exactly how everything is organized. And then it's going to extract that, give us the information. And that's how we're able to actually pick. So let's do main content. Okay, so now let's try this different thing, which is this custom field. So we have clinical location, we got appointments, but let's add a custom field. And you essentially just select it and then you pick it, okay? So let's try that. So let's just go, for example, if I wanted to get all the services. So this is, um, for example, services. Hit add, let's also add this one services add and then let's do that one and then we also have let's do like owners that's a dope feature being able to actually select the different components on the website really cool okay we got the one page we're going to hit start extraction and obviously i'm assuming it's going to work so definitely great product i do like it i love the idea of it but what I like most is I'm pretty sure I could vibe code this in an afternoon. So if you guys are watching this, definitely give a follow and I'm going to recreate this in my next video. So definitely um, come, come join. I'm going to show exactly how to do this type of product. And we I think we can actually make it better. I think there's a few things that I could modify to make this actually much, much better. So that'll be our next video. But for now, we are going to sign off and give them kudos for building a really dope tool yeah this is really good and a dollar per million tokens is crazy cheap so let's try it okay so let me export this just so we have a final yeah i'm, I'm impressed i think this is a really cool tool so um kudos to you guys for doing it but you know as all good vibe coders we're going to clone it. We're going to make a better version of it because we can. And let me know in the comment section if I should actually clone this. Like, I think it's a good idea. I think as a business, it's a good idea because I definitely think there's some improvements that can be made. And this would be so easy for me to do. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to make a video basically recreating this whole project from start to finish with a twist because I do have an idea that I think could be very powerful.